Both medium and light tanks are driven in much the same way. To demonstrate the successive steps of tank driving, a skilled driver will operate this light tank. The accelerator pedal opens and closes the throttle, controlling the speed and power of the engine. Correct use of the accelerator, especially when shifting, is essential to good tank driving. To move the tank forward, the clutch pedal is depressed, and the gear shift lever moved to the first or second gear. Both light and medium tanks are usually started in second gear. The engine is speeded up to about 1400 RPM. The clutch is gradually released. As the clutch engages, the accelerator is depressed to maintain the engine speed. The engine speed should not be allowed to drop below 1200 RPM or to exceed 1800. As the tank gains momentum, the driver shifts from second speed to third by depressing the clutch pedal. He moves the gear shift lever to neutral, then to third and engages the clutch. When approaching an obstacle or steep grade such as this, the driver may shift from a higher gear to a lower one by double clutching the shift. Here the driver demonstrates double clutching in simulated slow motion. He depresses the clutch pedal part way, shifts into neutral, and releases the clutch pedal. The engine is then accelerated to increase the speed of the drive shaft so that the speeds of the engaging gears will be approximately the same. The clutch is disengaged again and the shift is quickly made to the lower gear. In steering the tank, levers are used. To steer to the left, the left lever is pulled back and the accelerator depressed to maintain the speed. This causes the left track to slow down and the right to speed up, thus turning the tank. To prevent throwing a track, very sharp turns are not made. Turns should be anticipated by slowing down the tank, then applying power to the tracks as the turn is made. 